Welcome back, everyone. Bullying is the number one problem kids face today, both in and out of school. And social media gives bullies even easier access to victims. October is National Bullying Prevention Month, and John Akers is here from Kentucky Center, uh, Kentucky Center for School Safety to tell us ways we can help bring an end to bullying. Good to meet you. Good to meet you all. Great to have you with us today. Thank you. You know, this is such a tough topic to talk about, but it's something we have to talk about. Right. Because it affects every child on every level mm -hmm. here in our state and across the country. Sure it does. Is yeah. there more bullying now, or are we just better aware of what's going on? I think it's both. We're more aware of that, and also with, like I mentioned to you before, uh, with the social media, mm -hmm. kids can bully 24-7, 365, so it's no longer after the, or before um, the school bell rings. It's after the school bell rings as well, and so it's all over the place. How do you deal with that? If, if, how, do you, how, as a school, can you deal with bullying that happens outside of school? Is there, is there, other than, you know, is there prevention ways, ways to prevent that kind of thing? Well, yes, the way to prevent it is to have parents step up to the plate and find mm -hmm. out what's going on with, with their kids on social media. On that portion of that, and I may have mentioned to you too that we recommend that all electronic devices that kids have be given to their parents each night at nine o'clock, so the parents can <coughs> a keep the phones out of the bedroom, so they go ahead and get some sleep. Number one, <laughs> but number two, have the parents look on the phone, see who they're texting, see what's going on, and might have wait for the prevention thing outside of school. Now, inside of school, we have prevention programs that schools across the state have. Uh, the Oveas program, we have the. Uh, um, uh, operation respect program going on and so we have programs out there but they stop at three o'clock yeah. and so we have them for 15 percent of a calendar year so the parents have them for 85 percent of the calendar year so we're asking for parents community step up to the plate and help us because we need their help in the schools and kids can sometimes be it's so important for parents to step up because kids can be a little afraid sometimes if they're being bullied to speak up right. because of the repercussions. I mean, exactly. why do, what are some of the reasons you think kids have a hard time admitting, sure. hey, I'm being bullied at school or even after school nowadays? Well, number one, they're afraid of re you know, retribution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The bully going to come back to them and things sure. like that. And we work on that. We have policies about that and laws about that, about the retribution thing. Yeah. But the second point is, is kind of the fuzzy one. Kids are reluctant to tell the parents that they're being bullied on electronic devices because the parents may take them from them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I contend that that's the umbilical cord to their peer group, so to speak, and so they don't want to stop that. So it's, do I give up my friends or do I hold back and tell my parents that I'm being bullied? And it's, yeah. not, it's not an issue that, unfortunately, it's not going to fix itself. People are going to have to step up right. and parents are going to have to take responsibility. And, you know, you're going to have to speak up in anything in life. If you're, yeah. you're being bullied, you're being harassed, we, we've learned this through Harvey Weinstein and all these other ways that people are being harassed, you have to step up, you got to say something. Right? Yeah. And, and kids today are not as reluctant to go face to face to the adults and to their parents saying I'm being bullied. So we thought about uh, tip lines where they could call, well you could recognize my voice, or the drop boxes and things like this. So now we have an online tip line that kids can get on and text to us and tell us that they're being bullied or some dangerous behavior is going to take place. And we have 93 school districts around the state that have this free service that we provide them. So there's another way to get that information in. Such a valuable tool, that tip line. If you want more information about ways that you can stop bullying and Bullying Prevention Awareness Month, log on to kycss.org. We appreciate you being with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling attention to this. Definitely. Thank you. Stay with us. Pet of the Day is coming up next.